Hey guys and girls, it's time for another update on Chris. It is Tuesday, May the 4th, and um, I've had a little update on the Sunday afternoon chat, but a lot's happened since then, a lot's happened since then. Also, it's time to announce the first two winners to fish with Jimmy Houston at Twin Eagle Ranch. That's right, we hit 100,000 on YouTube uh, back, I think, about the, I don't even remember, I don't know, 15th or 20th of last month. And uh, it's, it's at 104,000 now. And so we have drawn out a winner from Facebook and we've drawn out a winner from YouTube. I'm going to announce those winners at the end of this uh, little update on Chris. I don't have a whole lot to update because it's only been really, uh, well, we've had uh, we've had uh, uh, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Yeah, we've had Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. I did that update from the ranch. And so I wasn't up here Sunday. And there a lot happened uh, Sunday uh, to the benefit, even though they didn't do any rehab Sunday. We are uh, at uh, Hillcrest in, in Tulsa, and that's where she's doing her rehab. Uh, one of the big deals is they have a goal for a release date of, get this, May 21. May 21. That's two weeks from this coming Friday. And this is Tuesday. That's two weeks from this coming Friday. They think that's their goal for her to be able to leave this facility. Now, she's not going to be completely well without any shadow of a doubt. She's going to have a lot of rehab to do, but it will be outpatient rehab probably three times a week. Maybe done back here in Tulsa. Maybe done in Muskogee. Maybe done, uh, you know, somewhere uh, else. We, we're not really sure. But uh, but anyway, that that's a great deal when you think about that. Uh, she has been uh, yesterday in the hospital four weeks. So if we're looking at another two weeks, that's six weeks. Uh, uh, well, counting the rest of this week, it's actually seven weeks, seven weeks, and and uh, which will be pretty good from having a massive stroke that came that close to killing her uh, to, to getting out of the hospital in seven weeks. So God has been smiling on Chris. God's been holding Chris with his big arms. And he has been listening to thousands and thousands and thousands of prayers. And let me tell you, it's the prayers that caused Almighty God. It's a, it's, it, I don't know that they caused him, but it, they nudged Almighty God into thinking, I need to heal this girl. I need to heal this girl. And God is healing Chris. And I just want to give you a little update on what's going on because I'm telling you, uh, in talking to the, in talking to the, the people working in rehab, and there's quite a few different ones, speech therapists, physical therapists, nurses, RNs, uh, uh, licensed practical nurses, doctors. It's amazing here at, uh, uh, here, here at this rehab center, the Kaiser Rehab Center it's at Hillcrest. It's just amazing how they try to take care of people and what a great job they do. They still serve hospital food though, because they've been feeding me up here three times a day. And, uh, and I've been spending nights up here with Chris. I know I look kind of ragged. I got the same shirt on I've had on since for a couple of days, but, but anyway, um, <laughs> But uh, but uh, uh, I haven't shaved and I'm looking kind of ragged and I know my hair looks bad because my hair stylist had a stroke and uh, she hasn't cut my hair in, in well in she hasn't cut my hair in over four weeks that's for sure but uh, and it may not get cut for the next four months I don't know I may have hair down to here before it's all said and done I don't really know how what's going to happen on that because no one's cut my hair ever since I was like in college, since I was in college. I can't remember getting, a, I got haircuts in, when I was a senior in high school, I can remember some of those, but I have not had a haircut by a actual doctor, a doctor, a barber, I got doctors on my brain, by a barber since I was in, since I was in high school. I did have a, a lady up in Kansas that was a hairstylist for uh, Governor Mike Hayden, and I was up here fishing and hunting with Mike Hayden, a good friend of mine. Uh, when uh, he uh, his hairstylist said, Jimmy, let me do your hair. And she did. It looked pretty good. I got to admit, it looked pretty good. I can't remember what it looked like. I remember a lot of people saying it looked pretty good. I remember that. But uh, but let me tell you, she is completely off oxygen. She actually pulled her oxygen off the other night when I was here. And Rita, the nurse, came in and said, oh, she's pulled her oxygen down. And she checked it. She said, man, she's got, she's got plenty of oxygen in her blood. And uh, she said, let's leave it off a while and see what happens. We'll check it periodically. And they've never put it back on since. And now it's completely removed. They don't even have an oxygen anywhere around. Her trach has been removed. Uh, so she doesn't have that in there anymore. So she's just complete. And it's just about healed over. It's just about healed over. It's healed great. And that one of the guys said, it, usually it takes a week to heal that. And it's healed already. And it's only been out a couple of days. She is eating. She is eating. And she's eating pretty well. And she gets choked a little bit, but not always. And she's eating pretty well. And uh, she's now taking all three meals a day uh, on a tray, uh, either in the speech therapy uh, area where she does it in there some uh, for breakfast or in the, the, the dining room with the other patients. And, uh, and she, she has to eat 50% of her food or more, or they, they feed her through, through the feeding tube that is still in. 
And and once that she starts eating 50% of her food or more every meal, they'll they'll actually take that out. So that that'll be get go out. There will be no more tube feeding. So that's some of the things that that she's gained already. She can tell time. You can look up at any clock on the wall. Say, Chris, what time is it? And she'll say. Now she did look at one, and she said 2:10, or no, 4:10 uh, maybe. No, 2:10. And I said no, 2:20. Uh, she said 2:20, and I said no, baby, it's 2:10. And because it was, it was on the two, but I think she might've said that because I told her about a ball game that started at two twenty, and she might've had that in her mind. A lot of times she's doing things like counting to 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, And she does it pretty fast now. Where she, when we started, she couldn't do that at all. She get maybe to five and that's it. Uh, and then say, okay, what are the, 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 the months of the week? And she'll say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and maybe get Saturday and Sunday in. What about the months of the year? January, February, March, April, May, June, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So sometimes that, that sticks in her mind what she just said. But just her mind's just coming back remarkably. It's coming back remarkably. And uh, so so all of that is, is, is really great. Uh, we think she can read some. Well, I know she can read some because I got some picture things for identify and read a word like owl or rabbit or stick or snake or whatever and then point it out on, on the page. So uh, so she can read. She doesn't read uh, totally, but she can read. Her hand-eye coordination is uh, is pretty remarkable, really. And uh, she still just sort of gets looking in one way like uh, y'all have... Some of y'all have had strokes and had patients had strokes and you see they sort of get, you know, locked in and they just, their mind just stays there and they don't look around and uh, be aware of all their surroundings and everything. And that's why they do the hand or eye coordination. Uh, but the hand eye coordination, they use just a balloon and the guy will just throw it to her and have her use her arm, her, her left arm that she moves and hit it back to him. And she'll just sit there and bounce it back to him, bounce it back to him, bounce it back to him. And sometimes it goes over and it, she, she doesn't do it, but, but her hand-eye coordination is, uh, is getting better. And it, that'll just, that'll happen with some practice. She sets up nice and straight. Most of the time keeps her head straight. It, she, she's learning where the center point is, where the center is. And, uh, so, so all of that has happened. Pretty much most of it. I, I mentioned some of it on the Sunday afternoon chat, but really and truly, all that's happened since we got here at the Kaiser Rehab Center last Wednesday afternoon, uh, which is like tomorrow will be a full week we're here. So that's all. That's all. It's just a, it's less than a week. All that all this has happened. Um, she sets up uh, straight, uh, pretty pretty well. She tires out easily, and she's still taking a nap quite a bit. But that's good. That that's that's good on the mind. Um, today she actually stood up. Uh, by holding a, a hold on to uh, holding on to to uh, a uh, a rail and helping helping her stand up, pulling herself up, and stood up had a leg brace on one leg that comes up almost to her knee. That that's that little bone down there that works your foot up and down. That's a very weak bone, and that, that and that's why a lot of people wear braces on that to keep to keep from tripping and falling because that bone's so weak. And uh, but uh, but but anyway, uh, she uh, she actually stood up and stood there for quite a long time. That was just like I wanted to jump up and down. I'm telling you, I wanted to jump up and down. And uh, she probably wanted to jump up and down too, but she can't do that yet. But uh, but she stood there for quite some time. Uh, they actually uh, hooked some uh, electricity, a machine up that fed electricity in to stimulate that right arm that was not uh, moving. There hasn't moved yet at all, and uh, they 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 got a tightness in a muscle up there that they tried to get that muscle working a little bit, and they could work that muscle, and her fingers would open up, and then they would grab hold up, grab a hold of a ring and pull it back, and uh, but that was all done electronically, really. It really wasn't her doing it, but it gets kind of get the brain to lock in. So they're going to be working on that more. They actually hooked up something to her electronically to her right leg also. And uh, they did that. Um, they di they did that, and and was trying to feel around and stuff and see if they could feel some some movement there. And they actually finally got some movement while she was standing up. Like I said, while she's standing on basically standing on one leg, the other one's just there. And and having her reach out and touch things way out where she had to lean over and touch things, and and could feel something actually moving in her right hip. So. Uh, all indications are that uh, that she's going to be able to get that right leg back and be able to walk. Be able to walk, and that, that's something that's just that I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. Uh, last night, uh, you know, she was laying there asleep, and I was just sitting there looking at her, and she was laying there asleep, and and uh, and I noticed her, her under her, her blanket. I noticed her right foot, which is the bad one, moving up and down like this. And I uncovered it, 
and and it was moving up and down. I woke her up, you know, I kept fooling with her foot and I would touch it and she would, you know, like tickle her foot or something, she would move it. So uh, she says when you touch her foot, she can't feel it, but she's got some feeling in there and it appears that that right leg is about to come back a little bit. So things are coming back and they're coming back really rapidly from what they tell me. Now this may be exactly the opposite of what we encountered in Oklahoma City when that first doctor we met said that uh, she would never go back home, she would never walk again, she would always have to have a feeding tube, she'd always have to have uh, something help breathing, she'd always have to have oxygen, uh, and, uh, and she'd have to live in a, a, a nursing home the rest of her life. Uh, that's what the first doctor told me. And I don't know why he told me that. I guess that's what he believed. But, um, but anyway, this is maybe totally different. They may be getting more excited about things, but I see people that have been here and some of them getting ready to leave that are, are walking or talking well, they're eating. By the way, she feeds herself. She feeds herself and she knows she can hit her mouth. Uh, she pick up a cup and take her a drink and uh, she, she takes, gets too big a bite in there and kind of has a hard time. But, but all of that stuff is coming back together and it will be back together. And you know, we have that big crawfish bowl down at our house with my buddies, uh, Ross Cagle and Steve Cagle and Tim, and, and they bring a bunch of crawfish up. We do that Memorial Day weekend, which should be the week after, if she gets out of here actually on May 21, should be the following weekend. We'll do that big crawfish bowl and, and we'll have her at the ranch for that crawfish bowl. Uh, we, uh, we, I, I just know that even if she has to stay in here another week, we'll still have her there for that crawfish bowl. And she may be wheeling around there in a wheelchair. I told her, I told her, I said, you know, honey, we might get one of those wheelchairs. It's got those, those wheels on them that we see that Sean handed you or somebody on, 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 uh, on Fox news we raised a bunch of money to buy them for the wounded, wounded veterans, wounded warriors. It's got the three wheel thing on them, like a skid steer. I said, we might be able to get you one of those. That way you can ride it around the ranch and we'll find one that's got an implement attached on the front of it so we can put a saw in there where you can cut down trees or put a uh, uh, you know a deal in there where you can uh, grapple where you can pick up sticks and stuff or uh, uh, put a brush hog or something out on the front of it where you can brush hog <laughs> she, she laughed at that she laughed she actually made a laugh and she didn't have that big smile back but but she's you she, can tell when she's smiling she's smiling so anyway uh that's all that's going on there and uh and 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 it's just I don't know. There's probably more, but that's exactly the things that I've thought about. And they electronically hooked that electricity up and, and trying to get those muscles moving. And they can do a lot and they, they can do a lot. Your brain is just marvelous. I know most of us thought our brain wasn't acting too good all of our life, but your brain is marvelous, marvelous. And it's got the ability to learn. And, and uh, you know, this uh, is not going to be, it's not, she's not going to be well when she leaves here May 21, but she's going to be a lot better. And like Jordan told me the other night when Jordan got to see her up here, uh, I guess it was Sunday after church. And I asked her, I said, Jordan, how'd your grandma look? And she said, she sure looked a lot better than when I saw her last time, granddad. And Jordan was the one that found her. Jordan was the one that went in the house before Jamie while Jamie was unhooking the ranger boat and stuff. And, and Jordan went in and found her. And, and uh, basically Jordan and Jamie saved her life. I mean, uh, if, uh, if they hadn't been there, she, she would have died. And, um, uh, uh, so it just, God has worked miracle after miracle after miracle to get us to this point. And, uh, and he's not done yet. You know, I've said many, many times, I can't wait to see what God's doing next in my life. And, uh, Satan jumped up here and did something I wasn't expecting, but I'm going to tell you, God's working that out too. And, and God's got fantastic things to do for the rest of my life and the rest of Chris's life. And he's got fantastic things to do in this valley that we've been going through. And we're not going to run out of this valley. We're not going to climb out of this valley. We're going to fly out of this valley is what we're going to do. We're going to fly out of this valley. Okay. Some of you might be wondering, some of you might have called your friends and said, Jimmy's getting ready to announce the winners of the fishing trip. Now we gave this fishing trip away when we had a hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube. It took about 25 months to do this. We started that YouTube channel in the end of February, maybe the last two or three days or last week or something. The end of February 2019, uh, we hit the 100,000 mark just a week or two or three into April. Uh, so that was, uh, you know, uh, two years plus March and, uh, and, and 15 or 18 days or 19 days or something into February. But we will probably hit 200,000 a lot quicker than that. And we will give away. I'm just going to go ahead and throw it out there right now. We'll give away another uh, fishing trip, uh, two fishing trips, one for YouTube, one for Facebook. Uh, and I'll tell you what we might do too. I might just throw another deal in here. When we hit 1 million, uh, when we hit 1 million friends on Facebook, uh, we might give away a trip there too. We just might do that. We got right at 600,000 now. We're about to hit 600,000. So it might take a while on that, but uh, I don't hold me to that one. Don't, don't hold my feet to the file now. And it might take a long time to get there. I don't know. So we won't worry about that. But when we hit 200,000, 
We hit 200,000 on YouTube. Going to give another way, a fishing trip away to, to our ranch, Twin Eagle Ranch. I own that. I have a partner in that ranch, my great friend Steve Wells, and a great person, great family man, great family. And uh, Steve and Becky Wells, uh, but uh, we'll have a, uh, we'll give away another fishing trip with me. Uh, generally fish one lake in the morning, one lake in the afternoon. If you don't fish, you can just come down and we'll have fun all day, run around and eat well and look at animals and deer and pet animals and have, have, have a great time. But, uh, but we're going to do that. And, and, and by the way, uh, those of you that did not win, we're going to give away prizes all year long in 2021 from the people that are entered into my big gold hopper. And uh, in fact, the two winners that I'm getting ready to announce it, it's one girl, one guy, by the way. That's right, one girl, one guy. And, uh, but, uh, but we, uh, uh, we'll put these two coupons back in. I know I read that number off the other day and that's why I put those in my pocket. So uh, we would have those, the exact coupons to be able to, but, what, uh, what, uh, but when I uh, uh, get back to the ranch, uh, I will put those two coupons back in that uh, hopper. So y'all will still have a chance to win. But the way you enter this contest, you don't enter any other way, but the way you enter this contest is you text your name, your city and state, and your email address if you got one. Text that to our pecan phone number. Don't don't send it to any other number we have, just our pecan phone number, and that's area code 580-618-7260. Text us that information. We don't need your address. You can give it to us if you want, but uh, name, city and state, email address if you have one. If you don't put your address on there, that's fine. But uh, we won't sell those names or give those names to anybody. Uh, we might send you something ourselves someday. I don't know. But uh, but, but anyway, um, uh, we will be giving away the prizes all year long. And we got some Lucky Strike tackle boxes we're going to give away probably on this coming Sunday afternoon chat. We'll be giving away a couple tackle boxes. But da 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 Here we are. Here is the winners, our YouTube winner, our YouTube winner. I drew one. Well, you, what, uh, well, I think the blue coupons are Facebook, and I think the red ones are uh, YouTube. I'm not positive about that, but I think that's the way it is. So I, I drew down and I picked, picked one of each. I just drove, moved my hand all around, and got one, and come out with one, one deal. And the winner is from YouTube, from Cushata, Louisiana. Cushata, Louisiana, Martha James. Martha James. If you will call or text that, if you'll just call that, that uh, if you'll call that pecan phone number, the number I gave, 580-618-7260, uh, and visit with Sherry, and we'll figure out when we can do this trip. We can do it in the next couple, few weeks, if we want, if you want, probably. Uh, fish are biting really good right now. Uh, and uh, the, uh, the winner on the Facebook side is from Mansfield, not Louisiana. There's a Mansfield, Louisiana, Mansfield, Texas also. Mansfield, Missouri, and it's Tony Henry. So Martha James, Cushata, Louisiana, Tony Henry from Mansfield, Missouri. And uh, we'll be giving away more chips when we hit 200,000 on, uh, on uh, YouTube. I have no idea how long that might take. Uh, my buddy Daniel Arms, and if you're not subscribed to, to Arms Family Homestead, go over there and do that because it's a great homestead channel. Uh, went when he after he had a hundred thousand, he went to five hundred thousand in uh, in in about a year. In about a year, I mean, it just it, 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 as he said, it blew up, it exploded. So I don't know if uh, Jimmy Houston Outdoors YouTube is going to do that or not. It might. Uh, the Catch of the Day channel, by the way, is over fifteen thousand now. So if you're not subscribed to that Catch of the Day channel, make sure you subscribe to that because. God will bless you if you're subscribed to that channel and, if, and, and when you watch some of those devotionals. Even if you don't watch them every day, we put one up every single day. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. i got to get back up there to the hospital room. I just came out of the uh, out of there with Chris. I'll be spending the night with her again tonight. Uh, I uh, uh, just want to come out here and, and, and give you a little update and tell you who won those fishing trips and and uh, Martha and Tony if y'all don't fish and you can bring a friend with you you can bring your wife or husband or boyfriend or girlfriend I hope you don't have both but uh, or a child a kid whomever you want your fishing buddy it doesn't matter and if you don't fish uh, you can still come down and hang out around the ranch all day and we will have fun and uh, and have some sandwiches and and uh, uh, depending on when you come I don't know if Chris will be there or not but it won't make any difference we'll have a lot of fun but uh, if, uh, if you wait a month or two before you can get away and come down there, it's a good possibility that Chris will come. It gets hot in the summertime. Fall fishing's good. Fishing's good right now. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. And remember, I sure do love you.